Hey, you guys. I'm back um, for our last class for the semester. So um, I'm making the crepes that you all requested, and I hope they turn out. So let's get started here. We'll go with our, our recipe. One cup of whole milk, four large eggs, one cup of flour, two tablespoons of melted butter, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, which is like a big pinch. So I have already cracked the eggs just in the, uh, for saving time. I've cracked my four eggs into a nice big bowl, and I'm gonna whisk them up a little bit there. And then I'm gonna do my, this is gonna be out of order, I'm gonna do my pinch of salt, all right? I'm gonna add my one cup of milk. I think it's best to do the liquids first and the flavorings. And then we're gonna add the two tablespoons of melted butter. Get all that good butter in there. The butter's important because that's going to help it keep from sticking. Okay? All right, that's mixed in. And lastly, we're going to add our one cup of flour. I'm just using a white flour. You can use a, you can use a whole wheat. Of course, it's going to make it a little thicker. You can also do half um, cornmeal if you want to, but flour is necessary. The cornmeal will uh, just give it a different kind of texture. Um, but and, and a different kind of flavor. Now you're going to beat this really well. Sometimes they say put it in a, um, a Cuisinart or a blender because it's supposed to be real smooth. And I can see there's just a few lumps, but I think this is a really good whisk. I think this looks pretty good. So I'm heating up my pan as I'm doing this. I have a pan that I've already put the butter in there. And I can see that it's starting to get a little brown, so I'm actually going to get going here and pour in a little crepe batter. And remember, the, tri <laughs> we, the trick is um, the first crepe generally is a, is a lost crepe, um, so don't count on it necessarily being perfect. Oh, I forget with, forget with this thing once I take it off. It stops. Okay, spread that around. I want that spread all over the pan, and then put it right back on and get your get your fire going. My, I forgot to tell you guys, I have a um, convection uh, uh, stove top, so when I remove the pan, the heat shuts. But um, I needed to do that just to kind of get it to spread around. Now, take a close look at this. You can already see this is starting to get dry on the edges. That's wonderful. Great. That's what you want. Let it sit. I, you know, they say about a minute. Um, I'm thinking 30 seconds to a minute because it seems like it's it's cooking pretty quickly. It's already getting the little holes that, that tell you that it's quite almost finished, at least finished on one side. Um, one thing I wanted to say, I love blintzes, and blintzes are, you probably have had one, it's really just a crepe that's cooked only on one side and then filled with cheese, um, usually ricotta and wrap tightly and then you saute it in butter. But um, we're just gonna make the crepe. Okay, look at this, check it out. That looks really good, see how it's coming up, it's nice and dry. I'm just gonna, with my hands, I'm gonna flip this baby right over. Look at that. Wow. Okay, and this is what you wanna see. It should be just a little bit browned on the edges. Let it stay on this side for about 15, 20 seconds or so. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to make two of them, just, just so that we aren't just uh, getting lucky here, because this really, this looks like it turned out really well. I'm gonna take this one, let me check it on the bottom. It looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna take this one off and put it on the plate over here. Whoop, I guess it needs a little help. It should just slide. There she goes. Lovely, lovely, absolutely lovely. Okay, well maybe we will just try this one. Since this one turned out as well, I thought, it would, I thought I'd need a throw out, but obviously I didn't. So, um, let me take this, put my crepe batter aside. This turned out way better than I thought it would on the first try. So, this is what I'm gonna do with my crepe. Um, I'm gonna take a little jam and kind of spoon a little jam about one third of the way over on the crepe. There you go. And then I'm gonna to start to roll it. And you roll like this. 
okay? And then to serve, let me grab a knife. You cut your crepe just like so. Look at that, beautiful. Give it a little bit of powdered sugar on top. And voila, your crepe is ready. Let me grab a fork, give it a little taste. It's nice and eggy. And the crepe batter actually turned out beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with this recipe because there are many different versions. And I spent a little time, and that's going to be too big. My stomach is, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Wow. Mmm, 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 mmm. I think, I think you guys are going to love this. So I just did mine with a kind of a sweet filling, but you can definitely do savory. These are great. They're very healthy, actually. A lot of protein. You could definitely fill it with like sauteed mushrooms and onions. You could even put salsa on this, whatever you feel like. And, um, Make it, you can use them for dinner, or you can use them for dessert, you can have it for breakfast. You saw how simple that was. So, um, hey, have at it, and I'll see you on Thursday. We'll get together and uh, see how the crepe making went. See you then.